<laughs> How y'all doing? We're back. <laughs> Native ladies at work. Back to it. Back to it. Back to it. Still with our starters troubles uh, because you are hearing music in the background yet again. <laughs> but today we went with Voices of East Harlem. My mom's old love, but this is an awesome song. This is just awesome. Yeah. Right. Childhood group down the block around the corner. Yes. One raised in New York. That was great. It's great. Awesome song. Giving love. Voices of East Harlem. Look into it. It is a great song. Mm -hmm. Very good message. Very good message. As we promised, we are back with spice blends for poultry. Poultry being chicken, poultry being turkey, poultry, poultry being, being duck. duck. Right. And just the funny note, just the funny note, so you are with us. My sister Lisa, which I'm sure you all will meet soon, she decided to tell me about a new bird this week because she knew I was just getting completely just depressed with just chicken and fish. You know, I'm like, something else has got to come she along. I'm getting depressed. tired of ground turkey, ground oh. chicken. She said she was gonna help us. She said she was gonna help me find another protein. And she said, "Hey, have you tried ostrich?" She said, "I just went to this restaurant and tried ostrich. You know, and it was the bomb." And I'm like, "Ostrich?" I said, "That's a bird we can eat." Oh, ostrich, mom, ostrich. Mom looks it up. What is it? Red meat. Red meat. You know, you, you know how family is. You know, family. Oh, I can help. You know, you can do that. Something that I can eat. Tell me about something I can eat. And when she say ostrich, red meat. <laughs> Thank you. Not seriously. Anyway, but we're gonna try. <laughs> try what? <laughs> Tell me what we trying. Try I can't to find eat the red meat. Something else in the lineup that is not red meat, but other than chicken. Anyway, <laughs> this spice blend is for poultry. And I'm assuming since ostrich, his muscle is red. I don't know, because many have asked already in comments. I would not know about ostrich. We, we brought no, that up only no. to say, I would not know about ostrich. I'm that is not about a part of native never, cuisine, never eaten it. Never eaten and it. it is listed as red meat. So we would not be the ones going to find out. <laughs> so if you're so inclined to put yeah. this, I would put it on it. As I said, some of our spice blends that we put together can go on roasted vegetables yeah. and bases for stocks. So by all means, if you are trying game meat, ostrich, or any of these other <laughs> ones that you know about that we don't know about, by all means, try it, give it a try. So we're gonna show you how to make what is called a sate chicken spice blend, which usually takes, yeah, she ready, mom's ready for it. <laughs> it also, um, and it takes exactly a week and a half to prosper your spice blend, okay? You put it all together, a week and a half, exactly. It's like harvesting, like gardening, you know what I'm saying? You can't harvest it, in other words, don't bother it. Once you mix it and blend it, let it sit for a week, at least. Just leave it alone, just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Especially this spice, you actually have to put two, two uh, twigs of clove in it, and it's just going to set. So it's even more so with dry spice blends if you don't have to smoke it because some of the spices me and my mom use if we don't go to our favorite store, where our favorite store is Penzi's. Like I said, if we don't go to a world of spices in Buford Farmer's Market, we will go to a store that's called Penzi's that has spices in there. Otherwise, mom will just smoke them. We will just smoke them, do everything that we need to and put them away and be happy about it. Uh, and it's great. It's great. House smells wonderful all the time. So, spice blend, and then we are going to tell you about the loose leaf tea mix that is for respiratory and asthma. So, the one of the main <laughs> the combination respiratory, your chest, aerating your lungs. That is it. It's not going to help you with your sniffles. But nothing like that. Don't anticipate that. It's not going to help you with your cough in that sense. Mm -mm. It's trying to dry you up. Yep. That's all it is to, to dry you up. Dry up mucus, open your sinuses, mm -hmm. all the rest of that stuff. Deep breath for people who are now having the hyperventilating and from your coughing that you were just that completely congested. All that is to open it up. The active ingredient in it is what a lot of people don't know about is dill seed or dill weed which you can actually buy at the store looks like this 
Do we? This is the one we get. Private collection. What store is private collection? I can't remember, mommy. I think it's Kroger. I think it's Kroger. Kroger has dill weed. You can get dill seed from the store we enjoy. Joy, that's called Penzi Spices. And just go to town with what we're about to show you. We're gonna move the camera with the with your you know, get it together. Create dry leaf tunics. So this one right here. It just looks like a rough, mom says it's like, you know, looks like ground coffee or orange coffee, All right? That's what it is. So the base is chamomile, eucalyptus, cinnamon, peppermint, hyssop leaf, which mom actually has in the backyard, and sarsaparilla uh, root. So if it's for asthma is when you would actually wanna do the deal with people who have asthma, and that coughing becomes more aggressive that can cause other problems uh, is when natives would actually add more dill to it. Just completely dry leaf or the herb, set it, let it steep in the cloth for about two hours, put it in your water, put it in a huge teapot, or you can just do it free because these herbs in here and leaves and all that stuff are not going to do anything with your body. People who have dry, uh, you know, dry tea and actually leave loose leaf tea that's another thing everybody wants to ask questions about or whether or not I can actually eat the leaf or, you know, is the leaf going to do something to me? Is there a reason why it's in a tea bag? Loose leaf tea is just that. You have to steep it. You have to steep it. And yeah. sometimes the easiest way, especially if you're using a, a fresh herb, is just to let it go free in the water. That is something my grandmother and my mother did all the time. And it's nothing going to do to you. Uh, <laughs> Nothing's going to happen. No. Tea, uh, regular herbal teas, all that stuff. The natural remedy at all times for tea is is going to clean you out in the laxative way. So there's nothing really, <laughs> nothing I, I see bad on any type type of side with with uh, loose leaf tea. You know, either you just want to have a moment at the end when the water is gone of chewing your drink or you don't you just dump it <laughs> or you chew it you have a choice you either dump it or you chew it if not it's, it's you have control over that so i never really have gotten into people talking about i don't want to chew my drink then don't chew your drink well, some people aren't too drunk. I can't, Mama. I can't. We grew up in that stage where everyone who have who have got a cold for the season, Grandma, Mama, someone always came with you with uh, chicken soup. The whole concept of chicken soup, yeah, it tastes good sometimes, but basically it's something hot and steamy to just open up some sinuses so you can breathe a little bit better. Exactly. So that's that's the the push for tea. It doesn't matter what the tea flavor is, but it's the hot steam. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Face spa. Face spa. While <laughs> dealing with the respiratory <laughs> <laughs> and beautification. <laughs> All at the same time. All at the same time. Facial spa at the same time, yeah. Okay, so go. we are going to go ahead and work on the chicken state blend. So I'm gonna move this camera. Move this camera so you all can see our table. And yes, I am a teacher, so you're probably going to see the children's books that I'm, I'm holding the holding the camera up on, or I'm going to try to. Hold on. Somebody falling apart upstairs. There we okay. go. All right. All right. So y'all see my little things here. So we've always had the. So get mom in there. Yeah. Get mama in the picture. I'm here. Good deal. So, the um, we use it all the time. You see, this is just now, it's completely gone. But it's called a sate chicken spice or evening chicken spice mm -hmm. or something that is something that has to be uh, marinated overnight, even when you put it on your chicken or something. If you're putting it into your stock, you put it and it's going to be in there for a while. Sate as in night, a night chicken spice, something that you're going to have to put on there and let it sit for a minute, get down and dirty, be happy, luscious flavor later. Mm -hmm. It's all good. Put it in uh, airtight. Mom puts everything in mason jars and we go at it. Yeah. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. So you pass it to me. I guess I'm the one who always does all the grounding unless you're going to slap my hand early. Oh, that's not good. That, what you want to do? You hand it to me. I remember it. Just hand it to me. You're going to tell me if I do it wrong. You always do. Don't you? I'm not. I'm going to see how yeah, much. Look, look, look. She's talking. 
Oh, she gonna say. Say, say, that land, land, say, say, say that louder. Land, say, no, say, say that Say no. Say that again. Say. I said I'm gonna see how much she remembers, and I mean that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna land, so we'll take go. the challenge. We'll take the challenge. All right. So, two tablespoons of that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I do remember. I do remember, mommy. Mm -hmm. Two tablespoons of pink Himalayan salt. All right. Bring next. Yeah, of course. Ooh, if I can close it back. Good. Kosher thing. salt. Coarse, co coarse, kosher salt. Only teaspoon. Ooh, I almost said it wrong. I was almost gonna get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Almost got in trouble. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like so far, y'all. Okay, you're just putting it all into the, all into the pumps. All right. Black pepper. I got it. Coarse ground black pepper. No, I got it. You gotta take the top off of it. Tablespoon. Please don't sneeze. Please don't sneeze. Tablespoon, y'all. All right, and right here. So when you get to the salt and pepper part, That's it. this is when you start that. to ground it in. What wonderful joy. Energy. The workout. Build Energy. <laughs> Think I'm running out. Energy. Y'all remember Schoolhouse Rock? Man, Schoolhouse Rock was the bomb. You keep grinding, you keep grinding. You know, for the modern day cook, for the most part, if you have one of those little electric grinders that they sell in the store that everyone buys, you can do um, your coffee, grind coffee with if you buy the whole beans. You can also put your herbs in there and do the same thing. Um, this is just old style, it's reliable, and, and it was cheaper <laughs> to use a pestle. Than but this is when the mommy and daughter will not agree because it don't yeah. taste the same to it, me well, sometimes. It doesn't to a certain degree, but, but it's the energy. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Years ago, you just got down and dirty with your herbs and stuff. Right. Because there was no other thing to use to use them but your hands and what you had. Exactly. So the pink is what you really have to break down. Pink salt is a really healthy salt. Pink salt, I'll also tell you, uh, for our body care, pink salt is also something that I put into our Epsom salts. Pink salt is really good for eczema, everything, drying out, getting all the extra oil out. But it's, it's also good in some food, people. It's also good in some food. All right, next part, mommy. Pass me which one? Let me see if I remember. Pass me which this one? This one is the whole clothes. Oh, okay. So, oh, see, she's really leaving me out here because I'm trying not to get my hand slapped. She, she's looking at me like you don't remember. Okay, so after the salt and the black pepper are gone together, right? After you get that all together. And the pink Himalayan salt, it's okay if you don't get it all broken up. It takes, it takes a minute, but if you don't, it's okay because you have time to steep it, steep it again because you're going to put the clove in here. All right. So, as we go, put it in. So, we've got the base in there. You see? Got the base in there. Now, right into our container. Can I get it? Come on, come on, come to me. Two cloves. That's it. Just two. And you want to make sure they're in the bottom. So, in order. Pink Himalayan salt, salt, black pepper, two cloves. Just throw it in there and let it sit in the bottom. I got it so far, mama. You ain't saying nothing. I haven't got slapped yet. This is good. This is good. I ain't got slapped yet. Fucks the men in person that I am violet. Oh. When you are in the house with this woman, when she is taking the time to prepare her spices and just put her kitchen back to rights, putting mm -hmm. her spices away, don't start messing everything else up. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you're a violent mother. Mm -hmm. I'm OCD. <laughs> you're OCD. Okay. All right. Ooh, cinnamon. Yes. Cinnamon. One teaspoon. Got you. Wipe it off. 
What's the next one you think you can pass my way that I don't know about, Mama? The ground turmeric. Yes. Let me see if I can open this one up without making a mess. Mm -mm. You get the ones with all the special tops here. Now, well, I'm getting ready to convert. Now, what That'll I will be say, another video that we do. Yeah. Putting the spices in some new homely jars. Yeah, get some home air type ones. Yeah. But what I will say here, this this brand right here, Good and Gather, from uh, Target, their organic line, really not bad. It's pretty good. Me and Mom started trying that a couple. What was this? This we got like a month ago. It's really good. Nice and dry. Vibrant smell. Really good. They've actually been doing some good stuff. Yeah, it's been really, it's been really good. It's pretty potent. So that tells me it's a little fresh. Mm-hmm. Right, come on with the other ones. Okay. Oh, Jalapeno. Yes. Now, this also, you can see the name of the company. Sistor. Yes, Pensky's. Pensy's. Spices. Roswell Group. Good stuff. So, Crushed dried jalapeno. Mom and I usually, when we want to try and dry jalapeno, we usually you do that in fall. Yeah. We do that in fall. Otherwise, go to Pansy's and get it. Again, this is more like half a teaspoon. She's mm -hmm. looking at me like I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. okay. I remember. Look, look, I remember. Yeah, but the spice half is a teaspoon opens you up to help. Dry yeah. In the process, it. you close this see, because I'm already feeling it. This is what she's getting. I already feel it. All right. Now you have to grate down the jalapeno. Jalapeno, turmeric, and cinnamon. You grate it down. And that's a quick one. Oh, it smells great. I wish you had smell of vision. I wish you had smell of vision. Cinnamon and turmeric, man, is great. Cinnamon is good by itself with some nutmeg and cloves. Now she has sweet potato pie. Yes, it is. Candy yams. Okay. And throw it down in there. Marvelous. All right. Next. All right. Come on, Mommy. Ginger. I remember. Two teaspoons of ginger. Ooh, Mommy, we had a powder ginger. No, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, because like you put it in everything. So, Mommy, tell everybody, what is your favorite chicken dinner? What is your favorite chicken dinner to make? Besides fried chicken, I can't eat too much of that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to stop telling people about what we can't eat no more. This is not good. Um, but it's the, it's the, because of the flour. Yeah. You know, when you're frying chicken, it's one thing. So now I'm getting high off of baked chicken. Every kind of style of baked chicken. No, but not okay, really then let's let's that. change it. Y'all y'all even send us in comment. What is mm -hmm. your favorite poultry meal? What is your favorite poultry dinner? You let us know. She's talking about some from fried chicken. Yeah. I don't know about that. Baked chicken, roast chicken is better. Smoke. I'd rather have it smoked. smoked. Yeah. Uh, uh, or barbecued. Seriously. Well, I just like when you smoked it. This is limited okay. um Oh, she's having trouble getting the, the top off of what is called uh, tallow cherry pepper. Okay. Yeah, here you go. And Turn that around I'm so trying to find see. some way to get it. It's also sold called shallot pepper. Okay. Penzi sells it as shallot pepper, but it's called tallow cherry pepper. And that's a Native American pepper. It's really actually like a sweet, sweet, sweet pepper. Yeah, sweet. And it looks like, like a little mini little cherry. Looks like a little small little thing. When it dries out, it turns like a little brown bud. It's good. Teaspoon of this, I got it. So when I say that, you're hearing a whole lot of peppers going into there, but I'm telling you that a shallot yes, pepper, I a shallot cherry, you, you see if you can, I'm seeing, I'm making a mess, mommy. Y'all see the bud at the top as I'm following it? Let me do it this way. Let me pour some out and turn it that way. You see the bud? I'm trying to, see that little bud? That's a tallow cherry pepper. Yep, it's just a little bud. Doing my best, mommy. Doing my best. Not make a mess. Well, you're going to do that. You can't help us sometimes with these things. All righty. Next. Come on. Next is going to be. Bring it. You think I don't know? You think I don't know? Fenugreek. Fenugreek. Now, fenugreek is completely. Some people don't know about fenugreek. Fenugreek is also nice for your muscles. Mm, you smell it. It's, it's like it's got some mustard in it. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. That's got a nice 
I love. I, I'm just telling you, I love how my house smelled when I was Indian. a kid. I loved how my house smelled when I was a kid. Ain't nothing like it. Okay, so a tablespoon of fenugreek. Yes. Then grind that and get the shallot pepper in here. Now fenugreek powder, like mom said, as you're saying, for frying was something that you could use as a base a lot for fish with Native Americans because nobody knew about baking flour, nobody knew about all-purpose flour, all that stuff. Fenugreek was a root that you could break down and became of like flour consistency. Mm -hmm. Put every other herb and salt and pepper in it and hey, I can fry something and boom, there you go. Fenugreek was really nice. It's a nice kind of like flowery consistency. Flowery All right, it come on, bring out the last one. It's more to like a flower consistency, but it has like an awesome flavor. Mm -hmm. Awesome flavor, awesome flavor. It's got like a mustardy, sweet mustard smell. Give me the end of oh, you need the end of it again? You put your thing on so tight, mommy. Well, yeah, also when it comes to spices, dry blends, everything, everything needs to be airtight. So I can't blame her like that, but we, mm -hmm. we go through changes. I have no nails, and how she does stuff with her nails, I don't know. Well, I That's why she's Wonder Woman. In the process. Wonder Woman! Let me, let me go get something to talk. <laughs> she still can't open it. <laughs> oh, I can't even do what you do. Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to do it because I'm going to have flying everywhere. Yeah, but that's what and I'll I'm get saying. in trouble. But that next ingredient is smoked paprika. Okay. We actually do not have any more of her jar because, mm -hmm. as I said, my mom will smoke her own. And we go to town with it. Ooh, I'm about to use it all. Look at Tablespoon, teaspoon. You do know the difference between them, right? I was about to get slapped. <laughs> Did y'all see her face change? Did y'all see how she's looking? I was about to get slapped. Okay, it's a tablespoon. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it, y'all. Y'all need to be praying for me for my health. My condition is real. Now, that was more than a tablespoon, but Mommy usually gives me good ones on that. Mommy likes her, her heat, so I can put more paprika in there. All right, come on. All right, All right so the next one she's handing me is what? It's um, tarragon. Tarragon, and that is half a teaspoon. Tarragon is really strong, y'all, so y'all got to be careful with this. Half a teaspoon, so I'm only filling up half. This is a whole teaspoon I'm holding. I'm only filling up half of it. Tarragon will light up your light. It will light you up. And listen, and the smell of that is a cross between what? It's, it's got like a citrusy smell. But it smells like something else. I can't find the grab. Oh, You're supposed to know. know. You wonder I, woman I, I with I it. Know. I'm, I'm trying to get the aroma back oh, to smell the... smell that. Smell that. Mm-hmm. This smells more like, um, what's that, ch that candy I can't stand? Licorice. Terra. Yes, there you go. Yes. So it's very strong. If you think of that smell, yes, it's very strong. But when it comes to a set of salts and everything, and that, you know, this poultry spice, uh, grandma and, and mama used to call it like a, a dry like brine. Mm -hmm. So you know how everybody, before they fry chicken, she talking about fried chicken, you know, you put it in salt water and brine. This is what we call a dry Ooh, brine. Yeah, that's just a rub. I'm just going to sit there and marinate that. All right. Okay. Ooh, my, cumin. cumin. I love it. Uh, cumin, everybody, is the profound scent that you so smell when somebody's food. making some chili yeah. or some Latino yeah, food. Right. That's when I, I smell mean. cumin, I think uh, I think I think chili. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of the cumin. Okay. And puree, the last ingredient. Did I give you smoked paprika? Yes, you gave it to me. Let's make sure this is the dill. Don't get me in trouble now. Look, I'm trying to hold on to my hands here. He's doing good, y'all. It does smell wonderful in here. It really does. Now, what can I use to fix? Yeah, what chicken we making tomorrow? Because yeah, I want it now. Right. But yeah. no, you know we can't use it. As I said, we're no, teaching I'm them. Trying, I'm still trying to figure out something to. Oh, you will be tempted, y'all. Okay, just like mm -hmm. we're saying. So this is a perfect example. You see, my mom said, "You will be tempted every time when you are making a spice blend from scratch, like we are right now." 
the smell and even when you taste it because we usually do it mom always tastes it at the end and say oh yep this tastes the way you need to be tasting it will be so much better and rich nine right. days later yeah. so leave it alone and as i said you also have to allow the clove that's in there to steep and get all up in the business so yeah, then even though you have made it if you make this at home after we've done it and you see how to do it and we give you the recipe there yeah just you still have to wait enjoy. just just wait on the lord yeah, wait, just, just wait, wait. Patience is a virtue when it comes to native spice blends. It's serious. It's a serious situation. You'll be smelling something wonderful. Ooh, I have this. No, you don't. Mom, mom used to put signs in the in the in the don't uh, touch. In the <laughs> <laughs> don't touch. She has signs in the daggone pantry talking about don't touch. I'm like, okay. Right, okay. and then Let's the last go. part is the dill weed, and that is just you don't even have to break this up out. half a teaspoon. So, what you do with dill weed, you take it, I think, yeah, so I can get in the camera, take it in your hand, squeeze, pinch, and then let it out. Start the fragrance coming out. I did good, didn't I? Yes, mama? you did very well. You, you, you want you want you want to say you want to say it louder, please. She did very well, everyone. She did a good job putting this together. Uh, uh, third third so time for the Holy good. Ghost. Say it again. Say it again. Just... I will not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Uh, you know. You know. Just it's, 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 it's... up now. Look. See, she ain't even let, letting it hang in the glory of it. Look at it. You got some more. You have this. She ain't even letting let me hang with it. it. Okay. Open up. Let me add this to. Stick into the sides, you don't need that. Okay, all right, y'all. So, once you got it all in here, mommy is known for doing the fabulous taste test, which she always does. But as I said, a part of our training here, let me move the camera back up now. Let's put it back up where it's supposed to be. So. Okay, so we are showing you the conclusion of our spice. Let's see. It smells marvelous in here. I really do. So come on, mommy, take it. I'll take some. How'd she do? It's good. I'm, I'm feeling some of the heat. Yeah, that's good, because it's coming in the back where it's supposed to, back of your throat. Seriously? It's a mild... Seriously, that's what I get. See, see, I tell you. It's mild heat because of the jalapeno that's in it. And, you know, um, you taste it. It's good. Uh-huh. It smells so good. I mean, if nothing else, I can make some perfume out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and go for that. Very good. I and would add more salt. Did I get off on the salt? So no, now tell me too. Did I put the salt correct? No, yeah, it's enough salt. She tells me after. Yeah, because now she tells me after. You, you don't want it salty, salty to the point where you know eating it is the salt takes over. So what you do? And so this is a chicken sate spice, right? That you put the clove in. Put the clove in. Nine days nine days leave it alone don't touch it don't do anything with it just let it be happy in the pantry room temperature okay let it just cook on its own yeah. let the clove get all down in there let it marinate let it marinate it marries all <laughs> elements marry yes. one another yes Takes and it is while. awesome and it will take a minute and then, when it is prosperous, see, we put can, on some chicken. We can like do three heapings, three more sets of that to mm -hmm. fill that jar. Yeah, this jar is, uh, what, this is a 15 ounce mason jar. Mm -hmm. So we usually, that's the main thing. It takes a while for, it took a while for this to get empty. Mom, when she usually makes a spice blend, we fill it up and it's, hey, maybe yeah, nine, bowl. ten months yeah, later, we'll make another. One, yeah. But we just made what the recipe is, what it calls for. Me and mom will usually double it up. Yeah. So. So that's a good one, but we can pull that out again another yes. day. 
y'all. And do it again. Loose leaf tea for respiratory, okay? Chamomile, eucalyptus, spearmint, stevia. Yeah. Dillweed, as we said, dillweed that is in yeah. the poultry spice. Dillweed for the loose leaf for your respiratory. We'll put in the description the recipes for both for you all to be happy, you know. We do not want to be coughing. Everybody is having allergy situation right in now, my house. Absolutely. The pollen count has been really The ridiculous. struggle is real. Okay. Yes. And the so, colors, the car, the colors of the cars have changed. Kind of yes, is everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My my car is a nice yellow haze right yes. now. Yes. Car wash, here we come. So, yes. Everybody take care of yourselves. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, we go Be sure, this, comment. Yeah. Do tell us what your favorite chicken uh, or poultry meal is. Um, let us know how you're enjoying the channel. Hit that subscribe button, like, notification bell, comments. We will always oh, respond to comments. As as let us know, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. All right, that's what we're doing. Yep, that's it. Did we do that one? I think we did that. Okay, everybody, it was wonderful seeing you this evening. <laughs> Catch up with you next week. Good stuff. May the Lord bless you and cover you and keep you. <laughs> May he continue to hold you in the palm of his hand. Know that you serve a God that will never leave you or forsake you. All right. Y'all be blessed this week. Native ladies at work. Peace out. <laughs>